You bet I don't have those emojis as fidget toys. I'm pretty sure I do. Let me just finish popping my gigantic unicorn poppet. Now that I'm done, let's get started. I have the perfect lion in my poppet drawer. Almost dropped him there. I'm going to use my splat ball frog for this emoji. I don't think he liked being thrown. Look at his sad little face. For the monkey, look at this funny little guy. The poppets are on the back and then you push his ears forward and that's how you pop them out. I usually use a blue butterfly that's in my poppet drawer, but this challenge has been super poppet heavy. So I'm gonna try to stay away from poppets for the rest of it. And I'm gonna use this beautiful blue dimple butterfly that I just got in fidget trading. Everyone told me this was not a spider, it was actually an octopus. So if you think it's an octopus, I think it's an octopus. So I will use it for that emoji. One of my mochis matched this pink flower perfectly. I just need to find it real quick. Of course, it is all the way on the bottom, but look how cute. I have a world dimple that is really good for this emoji. Right here, this stress ball looks a lot like fire. It has the red, the yellow, the orange. This is perfect for that emoji. I love this rainbow because of the little smiley faces on the clouds. Actually, I think I'll use this one instead because it has the primary colors and I feel like it matches better. Another perfect match for the snowman. This avocado pouch is so cute because it has like a sensory texture on one side, it has poppets on the other, it has all these like cute little details about it and it is perfect for that emoji. Oh, ignore this bag, I just went fidget shopping. Let me know if you wanna see what I got. I just wanted to add a few things to my collection. Here's my hot dog, as well as my hamburger. And last but not least, french fries. 